So I think I have the class videos worked out. I changed some things on the homework. Um, so some of these are graded and some of them aren't. The ones that say not graded are still good for a drill to go through as a drill. But I just realized that has the whole database in it. I don't need for you to have to do that many questions to get grade. Like if I click on this, naming the ketones. I didn't mean for these to have. That's the whole database. So that you can just run through that as a drill. To do this for a grade, here let me show you this. So the first few are graded. And then these that are not graded, ketones, aldehydes, alkenes, branched, uh, naming ethers, naming carboxylic acids. Uh, these all open today. We'll go over these today. And then you get down here. And this one's graded. This one has naming for all these in it. I'll show you that. We go through these. Um, and then naming the branched ones. These are all not graded. These are just for drill. And then this. Naming all these branched ones are all together in a drill here. It's great. Um, but we'll see how well we get these. Um, did you guys do any of these? Are you okay with them? Any questions? There are some mistakes in here. Someone emailed me and uh, brought up a mistake. Since I made these myself, there are some mistakes here and there. Um, so I'll go back and fix them if you'll email me and tell me what you see. Uh, so we must have left all um, we did branched out canes. So okay, so we're here. Do we cover ethers? Why does it seem like we're yes. ethers are very easy? These were going to and then you were like not the ethers. So I just stop it. <laughs> um, so so, the prefixes, have you learned these yet? Yep. Yeah. Ethers are very straightforward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have octal on one side of the oxygen, and over here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have hexial alphabetical order. This will go first, that'll go second. If you do octal hexyl ether, it's 100%. You strictly go by alphabetical order when you do that. And there's really no reason to hang on this. That's how simple these are. Ethers are very simple. If you've got these prefixes, they need to go. Um, truthfully, properly, there's not a space here. It all just goes as one word. I just split them out so it's easier to see, easier to pick out. So this one should be hexyl octyl. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's hexyl heptyl. So heptyl will go first alphabetically. You get the P versus the X. We get to one of these that is. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. In this case, it's dihexyl ether. Makes sense, right? Because they're both hexyl. Makes sense? So ethers are very Acids. 
So these always have this structure on the end of the chain. That's what makes it a carboxylic acid. One, two, three, four, five, six carbons. So think X. Exanoic acid. That's how you name carboxylic acids. Makes sense. We're still just dealing with these. Exanoic acid. Um, so these are straightforward as well. One, two, three, four, five. Pentanoic acid. <laughs> What is this? Butanoic acid. So these are pretty simple too. So as long as you can recognize that it's a carboxylic acid, then you can name it very simple. is that's an ester. These are only slightly tricky. Um, so let me back up to uh, carboxylic acids. Carboxylic acid um, is always on the, this structure is always on the end. I just want you to realize that it could be on this end or on this end. So what would that be called? Huh? It's propanoic acid. That's propanoic acid. And actually, That's identical to what, I, to what I just drew. I mean, if I pluck this off the board and turn it around, and you have that other structure, all I've done is pluck it off the board and turn it around. It's still the exact same one. So all I'm saying is this structure might be on the left, it might be on the right. Um, uh, irritating the meat, that's still exactly the same structure, whether I draw that up. So don't get confused if you see it. I have a habit of just always doing this on top. And I seem to have a, a propensity for always drawing it on the right. So that's why I like to point that out. It can be on either side. It's still the same one. So that's still propanoic acid. Um, and esters are the same way. I'll draw that in two different ways. Just emphasizing two, three on that side.
So that's an ester. Um, that's an ester, and if I drew it like this, this is exactly the same molecule. That is, that's again plucking it off the board, spinning it around, putting it back. So what I'm saying is, is these can be oriented where the, this oxygen is going this way and this one's going up, or this oxygen can go this way and this one's going up. Same molecule. Can you see it? Pluck that off the board and spun it around. Just so you know, it's the same molecule. And yeah, again, this could be drawn this way. I think most books, most places you think you see these, it's kind of standard to do it like that, pointing up. But just realize it can be drawn either way and it's perfectly correct either way. Um, okay, so naming this. Let me break that right there into the two electrons. So you can see it like that. So if I break break that such that this oxygen and this oxygen are together on this fragment, and then this is just hydrocarbon, just you should visualize it that way. And then this is propium. And then this part, there's uh, two of them. So think F because there's two. This one is propyl ethanoate. You see it? Just make sure, make sure you, you don't, uh, it would be, a, uh, this would be wrong if you looked at that and you went. That's not ethyl propyl it's propyl ethanoate. Not ethyl propanoate. Ethyl propanoate So now we've got ethyl. And that's the propanoate. There's your propanoate. And then on this side of this oxygen, this is ethyl. Now it's ethyl propanoate. A little bit tricky. Just know where you break this. If I broke this, just to visualize in your head, if you broke that such that these two oxygens are together on this hydrocarbon portion, this is the O8 part, and this is the ethyl methyl propyl part, where you just add the YL. So this so, one is an alphabet. It's not alphabet. No. Um, this fragment comes at the front of the word, and then the rest of this is propyl. Um, this is actually, if we just had this fragment, it would be an ion, and that by itself is called propanoate. So this is the propanoate part, and then whatever is here is the prefix with the YL. Let's just go through it. So what is that? Two carbons, here's this fragment, this is the O8 fragment. So ethanoate, propyl ethanoate. See it? So these are just a little bit tricky. Uh, what is it? Propyl ethanoate. Propyl ethanoate. What do you think on this one? 